welcome welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video okay so i don't know where the excitement has come from because i'm actually not excited but i'm here to tell a testimony a story whatever the way you can call it i just don't know but so please if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button if it's red please just click it it's free and yeah i'm just telling of why i actually hate my family not really hate but dislike but not comfortable not content i just don't know the right word to use but don't judge me before you hear my story watch this video to the end and it's not really a negative story but it's just my opinion and my pain that i actually know i need to deal with but i know i can't do it on my own because it's like my mind is made up so yeah um it started when my mom passed away uh when i was really young if you've seen that story if you haven't seen that story, I will link it in the description box. So make sure you check it out to know the story. And so yeah, when my mom died and then you are young, you're growing up and you're trying to get to understand why things happen the way they happen. And so while the years passing by, I just started, um, I was mistreated by whoever was taking care of me. Like, you know, I was with my siblings. So one is favored and apparently I was the victim. I wasn't the one who was being favored so i always felt hurt i built so much grudge no one treated me right i was like you know i start that that's when i started blaming and asking god like why did my did mom die i'm sure if she was alive she would have treated us equal or something like that and then yeah it was like you know when you're young you just hate certain things that happen but you have no control over so i felt so much mistreated and heartbroken by my own family members and who are taking care of us so i just anytime nobody would like affirm me positively they would always say negative things about me you do this you do that and i started feeling in my studies and then that even encouraged them more to compare me to my sibling and it was tough it even got to a point where i will i would have repeated a couple of classes but it's not because i'm stupid it's because i just don't have that confidence in myself that i can you know perform better and that confidence came after my primary education and i excelled better than my siblings so I, I until then that's why at least i got some little respect and so when i started blaming god of why this why that asking questions which we all know we are not supposed to do that but i did it anyway because that is exactly what i felt so i decided to to just keep quiet i grew up in so much isolation when we were growing up by the way i i grew my boobs earlier than anyone else i always i matured faster physically adolescent wise <laughs> than any other person so they would tell me like you're not supposed to play and you're a child that you've become a mother surely i've become a mother just because of growing and developing faster so I wasn't allowed to play i would always be you know locked in the house just stay inside always by yourself so i i built so much pain inside and i had no one to talk to i felt so much isolated i've lived in so much isolation that's why isolation is my comfort zone like it's very easy like if i'm in a group of people i'll be the one at the corner or just the quiet one like that so i started hating my family every time i would just say like any opportunity i will get to go far and further away from home i'll be better and that is why i loved school in primary school in class seven you are supposed to go boarding so i was so happy when we went boarding even before we went boarding which came with so much struggles um we used to sleep in school like we refused to go home we just sleep in school especially when the exams are so consistent and that is what happened i never had that relationship or something to just show me that family can be beautiful i don't know any beauty of family i don't know how peaceful it can be i don't know all i know about family when someone mentions family to me all that rings in my head is chaos 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 and chaos so no one can actually blame me for not having that love for family anytime i'm around my county home i feel so depressed i feel so troubled and other reasons that actually uh um added to that is that um i went through so much struggles growing up so anywhere i'm around my county home it reminds me like literally everywhere i step it reminds me of everything that i've gone through all the isolation all the troubles all the harassment all the embarrassment guys i've gone through it all that you can think of so that grew so much hatred and i just never loved home so that is why when i went to high school 
you know the way people celebrate when it's closing day when they're about to go home i never used to celebrate i'm just like oh my god going back home again at that time i was we were living with my aunt and uncle and yo who ended up separating so dealing with you know losing your parents to living with this relative and then they come and separate and then you just jump from place to place it was like i was homeless because when we were living together as one family and they got separated we had to move back to the village in my mom's parents living in the village after some time we had to move again to the auntie who they had separated and there was just so much chaos in between i never had peace so that is why i just don't like home when i'm there i, I always feel like depressed anytime it's going to school yay that's why when i was joining uni i chose the university that is as far as possible from home i had chosen like Pwane. i wanted to go and study in course but unfortunately i was called to Embu. but i was happy anyway and i remember my dad saying that why don't you change your university and come just near home i was like no 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 i wanna go as far as possible and i never enjoyed home and it, like i have to be begged and pressured for me to go home i'm one of those children and of course they don't understand they're like you don't like your family you don't want to see your dad you don't want to do that and that but they don't understand because for me it is my mental health i came to understand that that place just makes me depressed and i think then what happens consistently it's just i feel like it's the universe of god telling me to, that i need to deal with it i need to deal with it actually it's not even to deal with forgiveness there is nothing to forgive here it's me to accept that yes that is the path that i went through everything happens for a reason everyone goes through something and i have to deal with it and accept but yo i just can't i really hate home i hate home i hate home that's why i love school anytime i'm at school i'm the happiest jewel happiest baby girl and now that i'm almost completing campus <laughs> I'm actually stressed. I'm not even stressed. I'm just like, whatever, whatever will happen will happen. Cause I know already as a girl child, I'm being told to go home, but I'm not at peace with the going home and all of that stuff. But yeah, I, I just want to trust God that he will help me to deal with this. And yeah, the light is changing because of the sun. And so, yeah, so when, um, I came to uni, I was so happy. Anytime it is holiday time, I just have to find something to do. And something funny is that nothing will be found so that I could go home. I just feel like it's the way the universe is acting. It just wants me to deal with it. And I just don't know what to do. So if you have a suggestion, that is here we've gotten to this. And I need you to comment down below in the comments. Just tell me, have you been in the same situations? Have family, I've heard of so many stories that family reject you. I have faced the rejection. I have felt all kind of negative word you can use from my own family, my own blood. And every time I'm just around family, another thing is that I feel like I'm a burden. Like the way they talk when you are around, it's like you're a burden. Anytime you know you come, you know you'll be asked for money because... <laughs> so i usually be like it's better i stay away and i take care of myself rather than come and then they see you as a source of money so yeah i just choose to always stay away you know when i come i just come for some days rather than not staying there forever it's boring nobody to talk to you don't even have neighbors you can associate with because of being brought up in isolation you can't even make friends and yo it, it has been a tough season and i'm just coming here with my head trying to empty whatever thing is in my head so that i can just talk it out but i just even don't know how to express it and it's because i need help it's been on my mind for months to actually talk about this but finally i'm talking about it i don't know what to say but it's actually not comfortable for me to post this video but whatever <laughs> when you need help you need help so yeah i think it just has um when i i started asking god in prayer of why mom died and of course he actually told me that if she wouldn't have died uh my other other people wouldn't have taken responsibility for us maybe we would have suffered more but yeah i just thank god for the fire of calm and for the thing of going home and just accepting that yeah you went through all those stresses actually feel like tears are coming remembering of all the memories that i've had with place called home and one thing i usually believe is that home is not a place it's your heart if it's your heart to accept that that is home it will be home you make a place home so it's actually up to me to make it home but at this point of my life i'm like if i go home i'm like i'll continue living in isolation and at this point in my life i'm like i want to mingle i want to know other people because i've missed that in all my life growing up so i feel like that's the opportunity that i have right now but I just have a, I just have to let 
whatever happened happened but again i'm trying to control it and the more i try to control the more i just get depressed actually i anytime it's like it's time for you to go home <laughs> i'm so stressed like oh my god home again like it's that feeling of again you know when something happens you're like again on the negative side that is what happens when someone mentions home that's why i don't like when someone gets to know me to ask anything about my family because i just don't want to talk about them because i don't care actually that is the word I actually don't care and it's not my blame i know you can see toilet is here but who doesn't have we all have okay so yeah i'm like again i need to go home is it really necessary is there something i can do like that's why i usually go home when like i have no other place to go when i just have no option that's when i go to my parents to my family's home <laughs> i'm avoiding to call it home because to me in my head it's not home it's just a place where you go where you live where you get shelter and something like that but until now i'm just like if i ever get an opportunity to move as far as possible from home i will move that is why if i am meant to marry because i actually don't believe in marriage story for another day if i am meant to marry i just want to be far far as possible even if it's another continent bless the lord i'll be so happy <laughs> so happy so that you know the time I, it's not like i want to be visiting them it's just like all the chaos and troubles that are I know every family has its own problems but i usually feel like mine stresses me the most because you know it's like you want to help but you can't help because you don't have the cash or what because i know poverty is not my friend i'm just not in love that's what i'm just afraid of struggling that is the issue i feel like i've struggled so much in life and i don't want to continue struggling and yeah i don't know if this video made sense but i'm actually done and thank you so much for watching if you've gotten to this end tell me have i made sense because i actually don't know i've made sense i've just spoken my mind out that i hate my family i hate home i hate my home county i hate being in that place it reminds me of my troubles it reminds me of the chaos like i'm just never peaceful when i'm among family members i'm like i can't speak my mind out i can't express myself fully i can't be myself i have to close myself in this shell it's full of negativity chaos 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 no peace and we know peace i tr i remember i i last year 2019 i tried to pray for my family every time it was just dedicated praying for my family praying for restoration i got tired yo i got tired i don't know if it's because i was doing it on my own or i was just so much full of a lot of faith or hope or confidence that it will change but i just got praying and i'm like whatever i can't change everybody I can't be here i can't be jesus i can't save them so yeah i just care about myself and that is it and yeah i'm selfish and that's it i'm just not going to change anytime soon maybe therapy will help someday but yeah bye guys give me a comment below subscribe thumbs up thanks for watching